When Deepa Karmakar finished fourth in gymnastics during the 2016 Rio Olympics, she became the darling of the nation. She had put gymnastics on the world map and also she had put India on the world stage by her fantastic performance. Very, very unlucky to miss out on the medal and yet again, she became one of the more famous fourth finish places in the Olympics. Karmakar did the Prodinova, which is considered to be the most deadliest stunt in gymnastics. She was one of the few who could master it. Now, if you have to look at it in the past couple of years, what has happened to Deepa Karmakar? Where is she? What has happened to her by which the Gymnastics Federation in India has not revealed any details about her? Currently, if you search in the profile of the Gymnastics Federation of India about Deepa Karmakar, there is just no information. Why? A very, very shocking detail has emerged, folks. And this is something which will really derail Deepa Karmakar's career. What is that? So the massive update that has been revealed, according to a report in the Times of India, Deepa Karmakar is currently serving a two-year ban. The ban started in the middle of 2021 and is still continuing. Now, what is why is she serving a two-year ban? It was because of the anti-doping violations under the whereabouts clause. Now, all of you will be asking me, what is the whereabouts clause all about that is used in doping? Remember, the BCCI and all of the players had opposed the whereabouts clause because it was a breach of privacy. And that is why the ICC did not adhere to the whereabouts clause subscribed by WADA, which is the World Anti-Doping Agency. So, what is the whereabouts clause? Information provided by a limited number of top elite athletes about their location. That is the clear-cut principle of the whereabouts clause. The whereabouts clause states that the top athlete who are in that testing system, they have to provide information about their location. Now, what all comes under that whereabouts clause? All athletes must be available to drug testers for one hour a day and which is 90 days in advance for any major event. So this is the thing, the player has to announce that where is the, where is he going to go, he or she is going to go 90 days advance prior to the major. So for example, the Asian Games, three months before, you have to make yourself available to the doping authorities for one hour a day. Any time between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. That is the guidelines that is in place for the whereabouts clause. So, what has happened in the case of Deepa Karmakar? Quite simply, her coach and mentor ever since she was young, Biseshwar Nandi, he did not inform the authorities about Deepa Karmakar's whereabouts clause. Now, as coach, it was Nandi's responsibility to ensure that Deepa Karmakar adhered to the whereabouts clause. But he did not do it. And was it the first offense? No. According to the rules, if there are three whereabout clause violations in 12 months, it will then constitute a ban. Biseshwar Nandi did not do it for three times in, 20, in a 12-month period. And that is the main reason why Deepa Karmakar has been banned. Now, who is at fault here? Is it Deepa Karmakar? Is it Biseshwar Nandi? Or is it any of the sporting organizations and their opaque mode of communication? So, what Deepa Karmakar had to do? Why Deepa Karmakar had to do it? It is the regulation by WADA that Deepa had to provide whereabouts on a quarterly basis. Every three months, every three to four months, she had to reveal her whereabouts. And what about the, what does this whereabouts include? It includes activity, schedule, accommodation, and the location details. She just had to tell where all is she going so that there is accountability. And one hour in that day, dope testers will come to test her. But nothing of this was provided. Now, I had asked whether Biseshwar Nandi is at fault here. Well, 
Now, the federations that govern Indian sport are passing the buck to each other. Sports Authority of India has said, we cannot deal with Biseshwar Nandi because he is not on Sports Authority of India's payroll. He is part of the Tripura government's payroll. And that is why in their capacity, he is coaching Deepa Karmakar. But on the other hand, the National Anti-Doping Agency or NADA wants to initiate action. He, they believe that Biseshwar Nandi is responsible for whatever has happened and they will want to initiate action that comes within their ambit and jurisdiction. Now, what next for Deepa Karmakar? Because according to the FIG, which is there, the, the Indian Gymnastic Federation website, it had shown her state status suspended in March 2022. But now if you want to look at the information, it's just not there. She last participated in 2019 in the World Gymnastics Championships in Baku. But after that, her career has been on a downward spiral. Because she did not even qualify for Tokyo 2020. Because she didn't have time to practice. And after her 2016 exploits, unfortunately, what has happened is in 2017, she had to undergo ACL surgery and that robbed her of a considerable amount of practice. So from the high of 2016, you are now seeing Deepa Karmakar reaching a low point in her career in 2022. There have been no comments made either by Biseshwar Nandi or by Deepa Karmaka to any of the media outlets here. And even the Gymnastics Federation has not uh, gone out with a comment and put out a public statement. They are just stating no comments. The TOI report clearly mentions that there are 13 players, 13 gymnasts who are in the list. One of them is Deepa Karmakar. So now, what next for Deepa Karmakar? If the ban ends by the middle of 2023, will she be eligible to go for 2024 Paris? Because when you're banned, you cannot do any kind of activity. One hopes that Deepa Karmakar can rebound because gymnastics will need a figurehead to ensure that India remains on the world stage. Who next after Deepa Karmakar? That will be the main question. Thank you so much folks for joining us for the special video. We'll be back with more updates on sports today. Press the like, comment and share button. We are also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you.